What is going on guys? In this video, we're going to look at Truffle and how you can use Truffle to simplify your life when you're developing Ethereum applications. But before we begin, I want to take the time to thank all of my new subscribers that came over from Ivan on Tech. Ivan on Tech is a great channel on YouTube run by my good friend Ivan. And he uh, made a shout out to my channel a couple of days ago. And many of his followers came here to check out my channel. And I really appreciate it. And I want to welcome you to this channel. By request from one of our subscribers, I'm going to look at Truffle today. So Truffle is this great development framework for Ethereum, which you can use to develop, test and deploy your smart contract from. And it's just a, a sort of all in one platform for Solidity contracts. And the thing I like with it most is that you can build tests, you can build sort of like unit tests in uh, languages like Mocha or frameworks like Mocha. So you have in this built in smart contract compilation, linking deployment to binary management, automated contract testing. And this is the great thing that you can do. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. But before we actually install Truffle, we need to have NPM installed, which is a node package manager. And if you don't know how to install that or don't have it installed, just Google NPM, how to install it. It should be easy. And after you have that, you can go ahead and run this command. NPM install G for global and then truffle. So let's get this out of the way and we can go G truffle. I believe I already have this installed. So it might look different for me. Once that is installed, we can use the Truffle command line tool to uh, create a sort of bare bones project, or we can copy some of the example projects that Truffle has created in order for us to uh, sort of get to learn Truffle and how it works and how the structure is. But first of all, we need to create a new folder where we're going to have our project. So I'm going to go into a folder here that I like to have my project in Solidity code. And here we're going to make a new directory called uh, truffle project. And then we can, uh, well, we'll need to go into the directory first, go into the directory that you just created truffle project. And now we can use the, one of the examples that truffle provides that's called meta coin, which is a basic example of a simple coin. So then we can go truffle unbox metacoin this is going to take their example and just download it to our folder here you could also do truffle init which will just create a bare bones structure for your uh, for your project but for the sake of this video we're going to use the metacoin example so hit enter and it's going to unbox this metacoin example and after that you can go ahead and open up this in your editor previously we used remix which is a great online ide for uh, developing Solidity contracts. But when we're going to use Truffle, we're going to need some local environment to do this and some local editor. And I like to use Atom, which is a free editor, completely free, and that also has a Solidity linter, like syntax highlighting, and it also has an autocompleter, which is great for writing this contract. It makes it way easier. So I would suggest if you don't have it installed already to go to atom.io and just download that. It's completely free right here. Once you have that, you can go ahead and open it up. Let's see, here it is. And we're going to open the folder that we created before with our Metacoin example. Let's see YouTube. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here we have it, Truffle project, we're going to open it up. So here we have our Metacoin example project. And it has three folders here, contract, migrations and test. Then it has our Truffle config and our truffle.js. We're not going to mess with these two today, but we're going to look into the contracts folder here where we have three solidity contracts. And the important one here is the metacoin.sol. And in here it has some basic functionality for a coin. We have our uh, constructor here, which will set the original balance to 10,000. We have a send coin uh, function. We have a get balance in Ethereum and we have a get balance function. And we also have a transfer event here. This is bare bones coin contract. We also have uh, a convert lib here, which is just going to help us with the conversions uh, of our Ethereum balance here. 
And we also have a migrations contract that handles the actual migrations of the contract. We're not going to go into that today. We're not going to mess about with this. And the same is for the migrations folder where we have the initial migration here or deploy the migrations contract. And in here we deploy our actual Metacoin contract when we do the uh, truffle deploy uh, command in the terminal. Then this will get executed and we'll deploy uh, first the convert library and then it will link the convert library to our Metacoin because it has a dependency to Metacoin and then we'll deploy the Metacoin. The test folder is really cool because here we have uh, two different types of tests and in this Metacoin.js file it will basically run a bunch of tests after the uh, code is deployed and it will check a bunch of things here. So you know for example it should put at least 10,000 Metacoin in the first account. It will check so that it actually, it will assert so that it is 10,000. And if not, it will throw an error and it won't be successful. And we have a bunch of these tests that we can build our own. And this is really great because it can be difficult sometimes to develop smart contracts because it's so much to keep in your head and it's good to have this structure where you can build tests as you go. And test Metacoin, this is more like a unit test. Here you can... Uh, well, you can both grab your contracts from the blockchain, but you can also use just a local copy, create a new contract, Metacoin contract, and use that here to test the functionality without actually deploying it. So this is all of the contents of our uh, little Truffle project here. And in order to go ahead and to run these tests, for example, so say we have written something in our Metacoin here, for example, and we can go ahead and try to run these tests. So for to do to do that, we run truffle.test in this in this folder. We write truffle test in our folder with our project. And I hopefully this will pass because I haven't edited anything in the contract. Uh, so let's see here. It will run through all of the tests and it will let us know if the code is behaving as it should. So first of all, we we'll compile the contracts, of course, and then it will run the tests. So now you see it ran the test metacoin.js file and it ran the metacoin test file. And all of them passed. And you'll see that, uh, for example, here, it should put 10,000 Metacoin in the first account, should call a function that depends on the linked library, should send coin directly. All of those passed, perfect. So let's say we, for example, change something here. Let's change the original balance to instead of 10,000 coins, we'll make it 100,000 coins. And remember here in the uh, test script, we assumed that the owner should have 10,000 Metacoin initially. So we are expecting a value of 10,000 here when we run this get balance. So guess what? We're gonna run this again and see what happens. Truffle test. And it's gonna do the same thing once again. Oh shoot, it passed. Well, I see that I forgot to save. So let's go back, let's save the file. New mistake. Let's do it once again, truffle test. All right, that's more like it. Now we see a bunch of errors here. Some contracts still passed, right? But we can see here, this was an error here. Should put 10,000 Metacoin in the first account. It was red, no events were emitted. We have three failing. So we have that one failing in the Metacoin test, and then we have some duplicate tests here in the test Metacoin. Uh, so you can see here that it should have 10,000 coins initially. It uh, tested 100,000 like we specified against 10,000, which was the expected amount. And the same for all of those, right? So then we can, of course, go in and change the test so that it will pass. Let's change all of the tests. Let's see here, assert balance. Let's do 10,000. And then in here as well, we have some more tests on the initial balance. And we have, you know, this is sort of the same, the same test because we're testing them at different phases. This is testing it as it says here with a new Metacoin. And here, for example, we're testing it using the deployed contract. So just you know, to be on the safe side, we're testing both of them to begin with. So that's why we get these multiple errors here. But let's run it once again, and it should now pass because we changed the expected values that the tests are expecting. And that didn't work. Well, I, I see that I made the same mistake as you as before. I forgot to save. Let's go back. Let's run it again. And there we go. Finally, a lot of mistakes, but now it is passing once again. All of the tests are passing. 
And uh, now we can check if we can go ahead and deploy this contract. All right, so from here, we can go ahead and deploy our contract. And for the sake of this video, we're going to deploy it to a just local test RPC client. And we've been using this in my previous videos. It's a great tool for developing your smart contracts. So we want to make sure that you have test RPC installed. And to do that, let's open up a new tab. And in here, we're going to go npm install. Once again, that's G for global. Ethereum JS dash test RPC. And I'll already have this installed and maybe you do too if you follow my previous videos. Once that is done, we can go ahead and launch the test RPC client by just running test RPC. We can do that wherever we want since it's global. But now we can see it is running on localhost colon 8545. And now we can go ahead and run truffle migrate. And that's the command that will uh, compile our contracts, run all of our tests, and then deploy the contracts to the network that we specified in our configuration file. But our configuration file is empty for some reason. You know, previously when I tried this in Truffle, my configuration file was uh, filled in from the beginning. But now we have to go into truffle.js and you have to configure it like this. This is the standard configuration if you're doing it locally. And you can find this on the Truffle website under configurations. But otherwise, you can just pause the video and copy what I have here. Uh, it's our local host. This is an IP for the local host and then the 8545 port and then the star is to match any network ID because this is just local, we just have one network. Once you have this and you've saved that, not making you know, the same mistake as I did, not saving, you can go back to the terminal and you can do truffle migrate command. So this will deploy all of our contracts as you can see uh, to our little blockchain is uh, deploying the convert library first, it's linking convert library to Metacoin because of the dependency and then deploying Metacoin. Uh, and we can see here as well that it uh, we've had some transactions here on our local blockchain. So now we can interact with this contract just like we would with any other contract. And we've been building uh, the actual frontend for this in another video where I showed you the Web3.js and how you can interact with your contract. So you can now do that. The contract is up and running on your test RPC. I'm not going to show you any more of that development today. I thought we'll stop here for this video, but you can let me know in the comments what you want to see more of. I thought I'll go through some testing in the future, how you write the actual tests and how you can uh, build tests for your own contracts, not just use this uh, test uh, this uh, test example from, uh, from Truffle. Now you've learned how you can install Truffle and how you can use it to generate a simple project, how you can get started and how you can test and deploy your contracts. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment for future suggestions or uh, leave a like if you like the video or dislike if you dislike the video. And please subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell button. If you haven't checked out Ivan's channel, uh, please check out his. It's a great channel. Uh, he has one of the biggest channels on blockchain on YouTube. It's called Ivan on Tech. I'm sure you've heard of him. But uh, that was it for this video. I hope to see you in the next. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.